Oh. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Hello. And you, teacher, how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. I had a normal um, day, I can say. Yeah. How was your day? Hmm. Very tight. Okay. Okay. All right, so welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? What's today's um, date? It's July 21, 2020. Okay, it's July 21st, 2020. That is correct. Yes. Teacher. So, yes. Is 21st or 21? Um, when uh, officially speaking, in terms of grammar, you should use ordinal numbers when you're talking about uh, dates. So you mm -hmm. should say today is the 21st, tomorrow is the 22nd. Yesterday mm -hmm. was the 20th. However, if you say 21, 22, people will understand but it's better if you use ordinal numbers. Okay. Yes. All right. So, hey, sir. Yes, sir. And if I want to continue on the another level, what are you doing to do? Uh, you need to finish uh, everything from the platform. You guys need to get at least 80% of all the assignments in the platform. Once you finish the 80%, you are ready to go to the next level. And how to inscribe, inscribe it in another level? You, 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 uh, when, when you finish the 80% and uh, you send the paperwork that Inglés Corporativo requires from you, you are ready to go to the next level. The same sketches. It's the same documents. Uh, most likely, it's going to be the same schedule, um, eight to nine or nine to ten. But usually, they keep the same schedules. And I had to to Friday to finish the the platform activity. activity yes. Platform. Yes, and, and that's why I kept telling you uh, during the course that it's better that you do the work from the platform on a weekly basis. So like every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, whatever day is best for you. So you don't accumulate work. So that way, when we finish our last class this coming Thursday, you are maybe one or two pages away from doing the final yeah, yeah. one. Okay, thank you. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Questions or comments? No? Okay, so let's talk about yesterday. What did we do yesterday in class? The code is used to go into and, and we, if you want to, to speak uh, about the future. Good. We were using going to and will to talk about future events. Grammatically speaking, what is the difference? Can someone refresh my memory? What is the difference grammatically speaking? We can use going to um, to talk about something we have in agenda, maybe okay. plan. Good. And we can use will um, for maybe plans in the future, but you don't decide it yet. Very good. So that is the main, thank you, Gabriela. Uh, that is the main difference. When you talk about plans and you're 100% sure that something is going to happen, you use going to. If it's only a possibility, you say will. Or when you make a decision without planning, you also use will. So I said, do you guys want pollo campero or pollo real? So I start asking, and then the majority says, okay, we, we will call Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero is better or Pollo Real is better. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. But if you make the decision at the time you're speaking 
without planning, you also use will. Very good. Um, any questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, so let's continue with, um, with yesterday's topic. Um, we'll be talking about will and going to. Let me see this here. Mm -hmm. It should be here. Is it? Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe I didn't uh, do it. 5.3 right here. Okay, do you guys see the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I can see. According to the picture, where is this conversation? It's possible to the high school. Okay. So they are in a school. Or they are st students. Okay. Why do you think they are students? What's because the reason? Uh-huh. They had notebooks or boots. Okay, good. Backpack. Okay, they have notebooks and they have a backpack. Good. Okay. Um, so we have how many people in the conversation? Only two. Okay, what are the names? Julia and Nancy. Uh huh. What is their physical description about Julia and Nancy? Both has hair. Both have. Can you repeat, long please? Long hair. Long hair. Yes. What color is the hair? Blonde. Blonde hair. Very good. One of them has a cola de macho. How do you say cola de macho in English? <laughs> a ponytail. Very good. Ponytail. Yes. Uh, let me write it in the chat. Ponytail. Let me see. Where is this here? Ponytail. Ponytail. What color is the ponytail? What color? What color is the ponytail? Red. Red. Exactly. All right. Um, so, may I have two volunteers to read the conversation, please? Me, teacher. Okay. You are Julia, and who is Nancy? Whatever. Me. Okay. Please, Lisette. One, two, three. Go. Okay, uh, Edward? I am Julia. Yes, you're Julia. Okay. I am so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? You and I, you or I, Gabriela? Uh, Lisette, you can do it okay. if you wish. Or okay. it doesn't matter. I'm not sure, I guess. I'll just start home, stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. And what about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We are going to go surfing every day. Sound like fun. Say, when do you come with, with us? Nancy. And you remove the wait teacher. Can you remove okay? It's okay. Do you mean it? I'll love to. I bring my surf surfboard. Surfboard. Very good. Thank you, Lisette and um, Edward. Uh, any questions about pronunciation or meaning of words?
when someone tells you, better yet, when someone asks you, do you mean it? What is the meaning of that question? Do you mean it? Have you ever used that question? Uh -huh. Do you mean it? It's like a como, ¿tú lo crees? Okay. Someone else? Mm. Do you mean it? ¿Lo dices en serio? Yes. Yeah, ¿lo dices en serio? ¿Estás en serio? Do you mean it? Yeah. Like, do you say it with the heart? Do you mean it? Yes. All right. Any other questions or comments? Teacher, uh, after the, the, this question, do you mean it? The I, the construction, it's, it's, a, it's the same, I will, or? Yes, or I would love to, exactly. Uh, and, it's, and it's also the, the same contraction when you use I have as an auxiliary. But in this case, it's I would love to, I'd love to. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? No? no All right, so let's check the reading comprehension. Where are the girls going to stay? At a hotel, at a relative's beach house, at a youth the hostel? Second the second the one? Second. Okay, let's choose the second one. Okay, um, second question. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have? Let me minimize it. Uh, Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? The first one. The first one? Okay, let's check the first one. Let's see how much you guys remember without seeing the conversation. Question three. What might Julia do with her cousin? Maybe go fishing. Okay, go fishing. Okay, let's check go fishing. Okay, um, what about number four? I'm booked for this weekend. What is the meaning of booked in this case? Uh-huh. I'm booked for this weekend. So when you say booked, that means that you already have plans, that you already have an agenda. I'm booked for this weekend. I am going to go camping. Okay, let's check that one. And number five, what should you say if you are unsure? Maybe. 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 So maybe indicates a possibility, not completely sure. So let's check your answers. A hundred points, very good. Any questions here about the reading comprehension exercise? No? Are we doing okay so far with going to and will? Yes, no, maybe. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so listen to this. Um, similar to this conversation that uh, your friends just read, I want you to create a conversation using will and going to. So your conversation can be based on next weekend, uh, your next birthday, uh, your next anniversary, uh, when this emergency is over, it really doesn't matter which event or circumstance you choose, just make sure that you're applying will and going to. Are the instructions clear? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me make the, the pairs and here we go.
Can you hear me, Clara? Okay. Well, and uh, for this coming weekend, I plan to, or oh, maybe I will go to to go out with my friends, maybe to cinema or other place, and maybe I will. I don't know. I will to the boy. Why? Why do you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my server. Surfer. Okay. Now I think that we need to create a conversation. Sorry. But <laughs> when I don't know. When I was child, I remember I saw the Sakura. Uh -huh. It's anime. Sak right? Sakura Karkap. Yeah. <laughs> Also in yeah. reaction. Uh, but when, no, no, I not, I cannot see it that way. So that way. There are a lot of anime. We finished, teacher. Okay, so let me check on now, the others. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now change, I'm Julie. Say Montecristo. Si vivo. Uh -huh. No, no, I live in San Diego. Uh, I'm going, to, I, I going to work um, in, in Montecristo tomorrow. Uh, next week, uh, next week too, I'm going to the verificate uh, the, the, the frontier. Uh, the border, Monte, the border, border, Monte, the Monte Cristo with, uh, with a private song. Uh, no, oh. it's a uh, some private. Uh, with Christian. Uh, yes, Christian is in a private song. Uh, Los Ochoa, la zona, son, Los Ochoa song. It's a song, it's a private song too. Preu has another land in their place. Preu? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You guys Maybe. are talking about the Metapan area? Yeah, Monte Cristo. Oh, okay. Because, because I remember in Monte Cristo, uh, many years ago, the, it, has, it had a a crystal house. Okay, and what is no. the crystal house? 
or not, Saul? Yes. <clears throat> Crystal House is in, it's uh, in proud song. And what oh. was the Crystal House? What, was it a, a, a park or something? Mm, yeah. Maybe it's a house that it has a lot of windows. Okay. But a lot of people's name. The area as the Crystal House. Yeah, but it's a, a private area. It's private. Private area. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But only to the El Pitanes. Now, I, I don't meet the Pitan. You have never been in El Pital? I, ne I have never been. And you, Gabriela? Yes. One. One time. One time, yes. You know, my first time in El Pital was at the beginning of this year. I had never visited the place before, but I went on an excursion and okay. a nice place. It was very cold. I okay. you, have a, you have a vacation after the, before this quarantine. Uh, it wasn't vacation because we left like early in the morning and we came back the, the same day. But uh, oh. it was it was a very nice place to visit. It was very cold. There was a, it was very windy, 21 kilometers an hour. It was like ooh, everybody was freezing. <laughs> yeah. Like like Monte Cristo, but uh, if you go to work after that, do you have, I don't know how to say calotic. Heat. Heat, yes. Uh -huh. If you go to work, uh, you feel heat, and after that, you feel freezing or cold. Okay. Yes. But it's a, it's a very nice place to visit. Okay. You know, I try to go to, I don't know if it was Monte Cristo or, or Trifinio. Is it the same? Yes, it's the same, but Trifinio is um, it's a, a, a place to Monte Cristo. Okay, so one time I tried to go, but the car that I was driving was very small. It was a Chevrolet Aveo, and I was forcing the car going up the hill, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, I changed my mind and I returned, so I never got to the national park. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. it's difficult to, to go. Right, right. All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. So, um, any questions about your future events? Remember that everything we see in this class is for the rest of your lives. 10 yeah. years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, you guys will be using will and going to. You will use present perfect. You will use simple past. So everything we see here, make sure that you apply it well, okay. So, um, what is? Let's let's change topic. Let's go to the speaking section. Uh, what is one of the main problems that we have in our schools in El Salvador, in terms of behavior among students? What is what is what one of the issues that we see in the public schools, private schools? Um, what what is the word that is very common right now? It starts with letter B. B as in baby. I I think one one of the problem is the bad behavior for the children. Okay. Now, this bad behavior can be applied to different people. It can go from the student to the teacher, or it can go from student to student. 
what is the word that they apply when this bad behavior goes from student to student? Bullying. What is the word? Bullying. Bullying. Yes. So, um, bullying is one of the reasons why some students, they don't go to school anymore. They yeah. desert. Uh, so they say, no, I don't want to go back to school because there is one, there's this guy that he's always picking on me, giving me names, taking my food and, and different things. So how can we stop bullying? Imagine that you are the principal of a school. How will you stop bullying? What will you do? I think teacher. Uh huh. Okay. I think that if I, if I was the principal, um, I will I will be very very um, hard in this point. Um, uh, and this. Uh, and this time, I think the violence resolves some things. <laughs> um, some kids, some kids have have to defend themselves okay. from the from the the bully. And when. The bully stop. The bully stop when the when the victim decide attack, when decide defend herself. Right. Right. Yeah. And right. I I think the this maybe will be a solution. Okay. Good. Someone else a different opinion. How would you eradicate? bullying from your schools or from your classrooms someone else has another opinion about this maybe maybe teacher talking with the fathers of the children why uh -huh. the children have this behavior right maybe in in their house they have uh, some violence violence and uh -huh. violence and that is the reason maybe the school ha maybe has some activities to to resolve this problem okay this problem right right sometimes we judge but we don't investigate what is behind that particular behavior or what is behind that particular story so it is a great idea to start talking with parents and find out why this student is behaving the way he or she is. That's a good technique. Yeah, and the children teacher need to punish to to the teacher for the other for the other child. Okay. So yeah, they need to speak, you know, like communication from teacher to teacher is also very essential. It is necessary. True. Um, another opinion about bullying before you guys start doing the talking in pairs, I will change you guys. Um, any questions before you, um, you start doing the speaking? Are the instructions clear? Yes. No. Sorry, I have What what you can do? Uh, I will show you a, a set of questions. Do you see the questions on your screen? Yeah. Um, no, in this moment. No. No. Okay. Let me no. let me share with you. With my brothers and December. Hold on. Your screen. Do you see them now? 
No, teacher. No. Okay, give me a second. No. I plan. Okay, that's the first one. <coughs> and that is the second one. Let me. Share screen. Do you see them now? Do you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, so it's your decision whether you take a screenshot from here or you use the ones um, uh, that I sent you to the WhatsApp chat. They are the same. So let me make the pairs change with him. Claudia will work with her. And Annie will change with her. All right, so answer the questions. Let's see. Change with her. Here we go. Print to me when you eat a word bully. Uh, the first questions are what's, what's pink print mind? Um, I don't know. How more. It's a it's a it's a difficult question. Uh huh. If you want to 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 read the second. <laughs> yeah. The second one says. Uh, some kids have problem in their house, but the parents uh, can resolve them. So um, I I saw more I saw much cases about bullying, and, and when when you when you decide talk with the parents of the of the kid with bully, um, they just. They just don't have uh, an answer, or just um, they uh, are bullying. Are bullying too? Okay. Uh, the second, what different type of bullying are there? Um, I'm not sure what the meaning different types. For for example, I don't know verbal bullying or physical, okay. or maybe 
bullying in the childhood or bullying in the teenager. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, was bullying a big problem at your school? But it is buller, bullying. But there are others that you were seeing his in your work. But it has other names. Yes, uh, ver, uh, bullying, when verbal bullying or physical bullying. Ah, maybe that, yeah. Yeah, maybe that time. But in fit in so in people than older or in in, in some people reclamar mm -hmm. and and finish the bullying for me. Oh. And you what about you? You recite uh bullying? Mm. I don't remember, just I think in, in the kindergarten. Yes. Oh, the first is uh, uh, level graves, no sé, graves. And the first, uh, it's all uh, palabras, no sé, no sé. <laughs> I I th I think uh, the the big problem is when. But in this moment, I always I only do in my in my house. And but I was a younger. I I, I was very very fat, and uh, many people annoying. Mm -hmm. And in my case, I I I like it to to play soccer and. Is 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 a is a big problem. You if you want to play soccer and you are fat, mm -hmm. you have to to a, a good body or you a good condition for for to play soccer. And in this moment, I I <laughs> with the partners, um, I have I have to punch. Bueno. I I have I, I take down two of them and it and the third one just look as it uh wow surprise <laughs> ah surprise and I give it I give it to him a punch too <laughs> and a kick um and everybody see me and some some guys more Hello. Which question are you doing now? Uh, are you discussing the questions that I sent you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you discussing the questions that I sent you? Saul, I'm going to move you to another room because I think your friend left. many chapter about the <laughs> about oh, <yeah>. the bullying <laughs> yeah <laughs> all I, time I saw, about bullying 
Yeah, I saw some episodes of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What is okay? The second, Ay, the second one say what? Okay. What difference? Or what? What name? Uh -huh. What Two. difference? What difference type of bullying, bullying are, are there? Yeah. Uh, ¿Qué tipos de bullying hay? Um, mm. For me, it's general, generalized. Bueno, creo que sí se dice generalizado. Yeah, generalized. Generalized. Yes. Okay. For me, it's generalized because in the bullying, uh, always, uh, always exists uh, psychological violence, physical violence, and... Mm. Maybe emotional. It. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Psychology. Ah, yeah. uh, psychological. Psych violence. Psychological. Psychological violence. Okay. And uh, if you are getting bullying, uh, help you to be better in the future. Not in the bad, in the bad situation. I mean. In the good, the taking good decision about yourself, like you are, you were saying me, or uh, doing better, better thing, helping people who who is in this situation too. Could be an you could be an example if you if you not Yeah, if you don't give up. Okay, yeah. if you don't give up. Forgive. And my classmate do, did bullying for that, and they said uh, Winnie Pooh because oh my she God. was bad. <laughs> yeah. The people are bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. How bad? Is bullying in your country? How about? What is it, the meaning of? Is it serious? It? Is it serious? That's that's what it means. How bad is it? Is it serious? I lost teacher. I I don't understand. Like, is bullying a serious problem in El Salvador? Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. To, to write a picture, anyone, mm -hmm. and it is a is a big problem online bullying. In my case, it's the same. Mm -hmm. You had a, a problem online bullying or face to face bullying. It's the same. You you had a big problem. Is the is the same for me. Mm -hmm. okay. The situation now is all of us has an a smartphone. So we all, all the time can take a picture and could be misuse about the other person. Uh, oh, uh, could be used for bad things. Yep. Okay, the, no, the number eight. What experience of bullying do you have? Well, we talked about, about this in the first question. <laughs> Yes, in, in, in my case, it is the same because I had a... At this moment, they decide, oh, <laughs> we have we have the duck. <laughs> like, um, like say here, the dog of the class. <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> la numero cuatro, the number four says, is, is I... it worse? For children, some people, maybe teenagers or adult people, uh, they they like to call your attention, or they talk 
a lot of they loud a lot of maybe they need attention yes I think. or maybe need love because yes. in maybe in the house they don't receive love yes i i i know some people like like this really yes but okay. maybe in in their family they don't receive like you say they they don't receive love yeah i think that is the principal reason that the people do bullying yes maybe maybe their fathers don't stay at home many times the fathers don't spend time with them yeah oh also when when people don't live with her fa their fathers uh, yes when live with i don't know maybe grandfather grandmother or whoever yes but no with and, her father and their father, and father are in the united states <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they it's only true. receive money about their fathers and then then don't receive low okay the other one show someone who is bully made the name of the bully public Put it on the internet. Which number are you doing? Number five. Number five. But why, a student. Why do a student be? Oh, okay. So should someone who's bullied make the name? of the bully public, put it on the internet. What do you think? Is it a good mm, idea? Maybe virtual bullying. What is it? Um, when the people uh, comment only hate in the, uh, for example, in Facebook, or Instagram. So do you think it's a good idea to make it public? Like you say, look, Francisco is bullying me a lot. Is it good to mention names? I, I think that is a good idea, but, but I think uh, it's not common because the people who, who receive the bullying uh, he has a a, a fur, a spread of that. Okay. And and is is not common that decision because yeah, they uh -huh. they receive they receive bullying at the same way. Right. Yeah, and when you make the bully's person, the bully's name public, that could create even something uh, more serious. Yeah, yes. True.
wait. Hello, Juanjo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you finished the conversation, maybe you did not. Um, do you have any questions about the Boolean topic? Any questions or comments? No? Are all the questions clear? Yes, no, maybe. It is. Okay, who's crying? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have any questions about today, we're going to stop right here. Thank you again for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. We only have two more sessions and we're officially free. You guys have a good night. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Good bye night, bye. Good night. Good night. teacher. Get some rest. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank bye. bye. bye.